air check meetings after the show every single day. You know, the show finished at 10 o'clock in the morning. So Duncan would say to us, well, meet me in the control room and bring the tape because you recorded every show on a cassette tape at that point. You plunk it in the, in the cassette player and you punch it up and you play your bits for the morning and then he criticizes them, right? Like all program directors do. And so it'd be 10 o'clock and we sit in the room waiting for him and he may get there at 1130, colossally inconsiderate and rude. And we'd sit there for an hour and a half, falling asleep, doing what we could to entertain ourselves. And then he'd show up at 1130. All right, put in the tape. So we'd put in the tape, you know, and I'd come on first thing in the morning, 6 a.m. And I'd say, it's 63 degrees and the temperature today is going to be, and this is, you know, play a song. And on the air check tape, as soon as I would say, it's 63 degrees, he would stop the tape and he would dissect the way that I said it's 63 degrees for about 20 freaking minutes. And we'd sit there, you know, and, and, and we'd be in there for 30 minutes. And he's, he's air checked us for three words. And, and, and I'd fall asleep, you know, I'd be dozing off in these meetings and Silva morning show partner, he'd be looking over at me, laughing, knocking me in the elbow, wake up. And we'd sit there for 40 minutes with this guy as he dissected our morning show. You know, so we had this guy to deal with and, and I was partying my ass off then. It was 94, 95 and 96. I was drinking every single night going out to the bars. And you would too, if you walked into a bar and the bartender says, there's Blade and he sticks a bottle of tequila, boom, right on the bar with four shot glasses right beside you. You would too, fill them up, knock them down, catch up to everybody. And before you know it, it's three o'clock in the morning. You got to go in the air at five o'clock in the morning. You get an hour's worth of sleep. You know, and sometimes I'd crash at buddy's houses and I missed one day in three years of doing that morning show one day i didn't even miss it i was late you know like 20 minutes late and the reason why i was late was because i crashed out at some buddies houses and they took the jeans that i had worn that night tied them into a knot and when i woke up with my head all spinning at 5 30 having to be on the air at six o'clock i put on these jeans the legs were tied into a knot <laughs> couldn't get into them fell down knocked my head on a bedpost somewhere and passed out unconscious finally woke me up 30 minutes later should have like 40 minutes late that's the only time i met so i did it dude you talk about a warrior i made it no matter how i partied every single day except one and it wasn't my fault it was my friend's fault that was the day as the john duncan incredible program director what a blast <laughs> what a blast we had all right back to the blade radio show got a good one here i'm gonna play for you i promised i'd play some uh little feet and uh <laughs> technical mistake Technical error. You can always tell a pro by the way he handles his technical errors. Wendy, she's the pro. She knows all that. Wendy, hey, technical error. Okay. I know you know how to work this kind of stuff. What's going on here? I'm trying to find Gringo from Little Feet. Oh, let's see. And, and, and I hit it and it won't start. Oh. oh, here we go. Where is it? Okay. That should work now. Okay, let me try. Okay. Funny didn't work. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Did you reset the page? No, should I? Yeah, try resetting the okay, page. Okay, okay. Reset the page. Yes! See? Thank you, all right. All right. All right, have a good day. <laughs> Thank you, I will. Like I said, you can always tell a pro by the way he handles his technical mistakes. Frankly, that's a pretty darn good way to handle your technical mistakes. 